Welcome to Violin Adventures number 48. This week we got caught up on a project here and a project there. So I hope you enjoy. Here we're building a router table. Finishing the display box mechanism. Okay, here's the gear. And here's my piece I, I carved out on the lathe. And that's going to turn the gear. So at this point, I want this to be to turn smoothly. So I have some special wax here. Okay, the special wax putting on here. I want this to turn smoothly in the case. So I'm putting wax on it. And I also want this is might rub a little bit, so I'm going to put wax on this side. Okay, here's my handle, and it's working now. Here's this side, and I'm going to turn it. Oh, so what I ended up doing is adding some wax to the back side of this, and oh, and then just thinning the handle on the back side here so there's no friction, and now it works. Okay, you guys, we got it working. It's still a little bit rough, but that's what this first trial is about, is to see if it would work and how to make it work. And if we like it, then we might improve it. So the hardest part is done. Now, um, I need to attach the front 
on here. And if you guys have any suggestions, you see how the inside of this is just raw wood. And I want the violin to be the focal point, thinking I don't want it to be dark in here. So do you have any suggestions how I should finish the inside? all of this for just the beginning of a scroll. Polishing a violin. painting the heart pillar.
the week review. Okay, here's the harp department. We got a pillar finished and gilded. And then we have the back getting planed. Here's the violin department. We have the back here needs to be carved out. Hopefully we'll get to that next week. We've got the scroll cut out. It needs to be carved. And I haven't forgotten about this little tool. I'm going to try this on the top when we get there. And I'll let you know how it works. So far, I think the maple was a little hard on it. Here's our other new violin. We've got it polished and the fingerboard is on and I'm just giving it a few more days to dry. I think it needs a little more drying time. So we'll wait on setting that up. Here's our beautiful zither. And here's the display box. It's hard to get it all in one picture but it's finished except for the inside. There's the handle, and then there's the knob that holds it together. And I just need to finish the inside. I have to think on that a little bit. Here we are outside, and here's our wall. I think that will do real nicely in keeping the water out. So my dad had this wall put in. And now we'll, go. and here's the cement slab. Over here on the side of the house, he had a drain put in. So all the water would drain down and out. So to answer your questions about this area back here, it's serving two purposes. One, to keep the water out from away from the house. The slab is really thick um, in this section over here. And then secondly, extra room for carving and cutting and working on projects out here. Gam zot meim Hashem zavaot yatsa hifli et sa higdil tushia. This also from Hashem or the Lord of the armies or the Lord of the hosts comes forth. Wonderful in counsel and great or abundant in wisdom. It seems a lot of you really enjoyed the question and answer video. So if you'd like to ask questions in the comments, feel free to do so. And I'll save them up for another question and answer video. Well, thank you for watching and for your comments and your questions and your thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.